everybody. Dan Hosford here from the Great Lakes State. Just want to take a second and talk to you about what do we do on the dog days of summer. All the walleyes are starting to leave. The water's heating up and they're starting to leave that, that uh, shallow water structure, starting to get out into that deeper, cooler water, not making it as easy to target as what we usually are accustomed to. The salmon, they're still not quite up for migration up to this point yet. What do we do? We want to go fishing. Don't worry, there's plenty of good fish out there yet to be caught and big fish to be caught. I'm talking about trout fishing. That's right, when it gets hot out, everybody thinks trout would be the last fish to, to be something that you would target. But lake trout, they run down on the bottom, hang out down in the bottom of Lake Michigan where the water's always cool. All you gotta do is know how to get down there and fish them. And that's what I'm gonna tell you how to do right now. Start out with our baits first. We're going to take a fish flash from Yakima Bait and Yakima Spin and Glow. This is number zero in size, zeros or number twos. I like the little bigger one, the zeros, with about a 30 inch leader. All right, and you're going to run this right on bottom, let fish flash just bang on the bottom, kick sediment up, make a disturbance that gets the trout its attention. They come in, they check it out, and the and, uh, Spin and Glow will be just above all the uh, sediment that's getting kicked up and just makes it for a really appealing target for the trout. They come up, boom, bite the spin and glow. How do I got the spin and glow set up? Snelled a treble hook, just like so, one bead and spin and glow. Now there are some uh, out there that put a, <clears throat> excuse me, a skirt right here and usually a number two spin and glow. There's different options, but one key denominator, they're all spinning glows. Why is that? Spinning glows are buoyant. So no matter when you're fishing bottom like that, it's full of zebra mussels, algae. Well, the spinning glow, by being buoyant, it floats above your attractor that's hitting the bottom and digging up the sediment. It won't fall down and it get tangled in the zebra mussels and fouled up because it's always buoyant. It's always floating. So that's the big advantage of the spinning glow. Another setup you can do is the trout dodger. It does the same purpose. Trout dodger right down on the bottom. It's down there banging bottom, causing a ruckus. Trout come in to check it out. They see the spin and glow. Boom, game over. Now, one thing all my spin and glows have in common, if you look, they're all glow. When, I'm, when we're fishing that 90 foot, 120 foot down on the bottom for trout, it's pitch black. I know the fish are adapted much more to that environment than what we are, but I do seem to get more bites and more action on the glows versus a non-glow. So keep that in mind. How do you get these baits down there? Downriggers, run, run maybe a 30 foot off your ball, hook to your ball, bang, hit the bottom, bring it up just to crank, leave it there, and let the spin and glow, the trout dodger or fish flash do their thing. Otherwise, you can take mag divers, just run them down until they start kicking bottom, just like a bottom bouncer when you're walleye fishing. Same thing, just let them sit there, just let them bounce, and go slow. Don't go too fast, because you're targeting trout, not salmon. So just take it easy, go slow, let your presentations bang on the bottom, let the spin and goes float above the sediments, and you'll be surprised how many trout are gonna put, are you going to be putting in your boat at the end of the day. So anyway, Yakima, spin and glows, Trout Dodger, Fish Flash, it's a trout killing combo. Go out and give it a try. We'll see you on the water.